Hello there, good people. Welcome to It's a Shaw Thing. I'm your host, Rob Shaw, here to talk a little fantasy football. It's Wednesday, which means we're talking a little fantasy quick challenge salary cap edition over at foxsports.com. Join in. It's free. You can play against one person. You can play against 10 people. Play against the public. Play with some of your friends. Do whatever you want. It's some good fun to be had over at foxsports.com. By the way, if you want to challenge me, well, go ahead. Email us at fantasycontent at opensports.com. Well, here are the players that I would draft for this week coming up. We Week 11 of the NFL season. When we start off at the quarterback position, Donovan McNabb coming off 450 passing yards. Is that going to happen every week? No. Can it happen again? Yes. Remember, the Eagles have been drafting a great array of talent at wide receiver over the last couple of years. Look at Brent Selick at tight end. He's been great. You got Jeremy Macklin, Deshaun Jackson. Apparently Jason Avant's a name to know as well. These guys could do some special things once they get the ball in their hands. Brian Westbrook out once again. So McNabb throwing to his wide receivers against the Bears offense. It's allowed five touchdowns to two different quarterbacks so far this season. I like Donovan McNabb at the price of $19. In my opinion, he's a blue chip, and you're paying under value for him compared to guys who are more expensive, such as a Kurt Warner or Peyton Manning. Next up at running back, now I'm going to open the wallet. I'm going to pay it out. Chris Johnson's going to be on my team this weekend. He's going against the Houston Texans in what should be a fantastic game. Chris Johnson, an elite running back. I'm paying $23 for him, so not necessarily a bargain. However, a player who I believe is a bargain is Ricky Williams of the Miami Dolphins. Remember, Ronnie Brown's out this weekend. It's all Ricky Williams. They're going against the Panthers. The Dolphins are a rush-oriented offense offense and so are the Panthers so don't expect this to be an incredibly high scoring game in which the Dolphins have to suddenly play catch up no 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 they're going to go ahead put the ball on the ground and it starts and ends with Ricky Williams this weekend next up we turn to wide receiver for 15 bucks I think he's pretty good value Mike Sims Walker of the Jacksonville Jaguars they're playing against the Buffalo Bills this week and the same Bills team that just allowed 210 yards to Vince Young David Garrard have yourself a day just like you did last weekend against the Jets expect Mike Sims Walker to find the end zone and put up some solid yardage. Next up, also a great bargain for $14. He's a blue chip wide receiver. Calvin Johnson of the Detroit Lions. Usually the concern is uh, who they playing against. Well, they're playing against the Cleveland Browns this weekend, so this is a great chance to invest in Matthew Stafford, Kevin Smith, Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson, $14, great value. We move to tight end and we finish up there. Dustin Keller of the New York Jets, just $7. He's a bargain. Remember, Mark Sanchez is going to have to throw the ball this weekend. He's going against the Patriots, and usually the safest bet for a rookie quarterback is throw the ball to the big tight end. And him and Dustin Keller have formed a nice rapport in recent weeks. And if you care about who my kicker is, it's going to be Shane Graham, by the way. Why? Well, they're going against the Oakland Raiders, so they should put up some points, number one. Number two, Oakland, weather shouldn't be that bad. I think he's a pretty good pick. Well, that's all for now. Again, if you want to challenge me at foxsports.com, just email us at fantasycontent at opensports.com.